It's boot camp at the only Arizona public university to offer a master's in physician assistant studies. Well, we have four different stations today. We're teaching them about different disease states and um, running them through diagnostic medicine. And this is the transition time that we have between our didactic year when we do the lecture type activities before sending them out on their clinical rotations. Housed at the Phoenix Biomedical Campus, NEU's Physician Assistant Program is working to train students to help meet Arizona's growing medical workforce needs. These are the individuals that can come in and take care of the majority of what patients have, then freeing up the physicians to be able to do the more intensive procedures. But what exactly is a physician assistant? A physician assistant is a uh, healthcare professional that is uh, licensed to practice medicine in collaboration with a physician. Do I have vitals? You have a height of 5'3", a weight of 180 pounds. Physician assistants really do medical practice like physicians. And that's not what vessels look like normally. They normally are one color. The training is similar to a physician's training. So let's look at these major vessels. It's different than a physician because it has substantially less training and doesn't specialize by doing a postgraduate residency. Oh, what is oh, that? what is that? Hover over that. Yeah, the computer will tell you. What do you think it is? When we're done with them is they get a master's in physician assistant studies from NAU. They take a, a national board exam. When they pass it, they're eligible to license in all 50 states and six U.S. territories. Oftentimes, these graduates will stay in Arizona, like former graduate and boot camp volunteer Juan Prieto. As a practicing PA, Juan knows what these students can look forward to and offers his best advice. I think from giving them guidance, you know, okay, well, this is good, but let's do it a, a little bit better. That's what it ultimately comes down to, being having the confidence and the comfort to provide that good care for the patients. We've graduated two classes that are in practice uh, around 90% of those graduates took their first job in Arizona. About two-thirds of those graduates took their first job in primary care, and just under half of those graduates took their first job in a medically underserved community. Because we've had such a high percentage of our graduates stay in Arizona, I think we've made a, and are continuing to make a really big impact on all of Arizona.